Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Autofill 2 Diamond and we return playing Gangplank. Had to blind pick and we're playing Gangplank because why not? Guessing that was a gifty subby. We'll check that momentarily. But here is the game itself. So there is still Smurfs around. The Vigor on the enemy team, very clearly a Smurf. Um, the the Mumu also a Smurf. Um, but that might be about it. We've got, we're into Kale. This is not a great matchup for Gangplank in the pure 1v1. So hopefully we can have a better impact when we kind of start grouping. But most likely the Kale will just start, you know, split pushing. And there's not a lot I can do to a Kale in proper late game as a Gangplank. But then on my team... I'm a smurf even though my win rate's a bit weird, but obviously we've been kind of messing around doing just anything. Uh, the Lee Sin's a smurf. Xerath probably isn't. Caitlyn is, even win rate though. Cold streak as well. Six game lost streak. And also the Morgana is as well, uh, with also a terrible win rate. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, one trick Viger on the enemy team as well, who does pretty damn good. Uh, duo on the bot lane. But again, again, you know, he's a smurf playing a Mumu, and Mumu's not that scary of a champion, so I wouldn't really care about it too much. But again, invading a Mumu is a bit weird, so maybe we should kind of prep for him invading, which is a bit weird. Uh, but anyway, without much further ado, uh, let's get into it. We're playing uh, Gangplank in the mid, uh, not mid lane, in the top lane versus Kale. All right, welcome to the game, playing your Gangplank. Right. Uh, and also, uh, not a sponsored message here, everybody, but some of you may remember um, a couple years ago, if you have been watching for a long time, I was sponsored by an underwear company. Um, and that underwear company was MeUndies. They, the reason why I'm bringing it up, in the, in the description down below, there is going to be a link to MeUndies again. And it's basically like a referral link. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is if you're a Harry Potter fan, they have recently partnered up officially with Harry Potter and they've released all underwear and even more than underwear, bathrobe, socks, all that stuff with Harry Potter themes. Gryffindor, Slytherin, all that stuff. I've already ordered some because I'm a massive Harry Potter fan, Gryffindor for life. Um, but yeah, I'm sure other people would be wanting some and obviously Christmas is coming. If you've got a family member that loves Harry Potter, maybe that's a good stocking filler or something. So link down below. And if you use my link, I don't make money, but I basically earn credit so I can buy more underwear and stuff. So feel free to use that link if you are at all interested. Do, 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 do. I'm Gryffindor Slytherin. When I, I've taken the official test several times and I come out like 80, 80 something percent Gryffindor and then 70 something percent uh, Slytherin. So, which I, I think is pretty accurate for me. Um, Mumu's there. Oh, Lee Sin could be in trouble, but I don't know. Lee Sin should be in a Mumu, but I don't know if this one will. Boy, if he just takes the blue buff, that's a pretty big deal. This is mercy and Bilgewater. Da, 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 da. I'm basically Harry, pretty much. I used to have glasses. I had laser eye surgery, which is basically magic. Surely, like, in the wizarding world, if, you know, can't they just magic their eyes being better or something? I thought of that. Like, if we can do it in, like, the human world, why can't they just magic their eyes better with magic? These are the things that keep me up at night. Yeah, Lee Sin should mega, mega, mega be bullying the Yamumu. Mumu's not really a great pick the higher rating you go, because he basically gets bullied by everything. Nice. Good old mana issues. Wow, someone in Twitch chat, it got uh, blocked, but I'll allow the message in a second. It says, 
He just wants to know what kinky spells people had. Yep. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Dirty Twitch chat. I always, like, again, my Gangplank used to be, in, like, very good. Obviously, it's not as going to be as good as when I played it a lot. If you're newer to the channel, because the reason why I'm playing Gangplank, by the way, I saw in the comment section the other day, Huz, can you play Gangplank? And people replied, Huz used to be a pretty big Gangplank player. Um, so, like, you know, he's got a lot of videos on the channel, Gangplank. Um, maybe you, you know, and people don't know that. But, yeah, I used to be a massive Gangplank player. So, I was like, hey, let's do a Gangplank game. But I, I ditched the champion a little while back because, I don't know, he just didn't feel as good. Like, at least with my playstyle play of Gangplank, I don't play incredibly aggressive in lane. On Gangplank, at least. And that's kind of how you have to play Gangplank nowadays. But, I don't know, I always like the playstyle of, like, I'm going to be scaling for team fights. you know? That's the way I prefer. But I think modern day Gangplank is more about trying to bully people. And I just don't know really how to get the mana right doing that, if I'm completely honest. That's what I struggle with, with modern day Gangplank. When when it was Kleptomancy, I could, you know, bully people, harass people a bit more, and you'd get a mana potion from Klepto, and you're like, oh, there you go. But because that isn't really a thing anymore, I don't know, I just find it... Wow. Ah! I find it a bit more difficult. What should you get? Tier 2 boots. Alright, let's get some mana or regen up in here. No! Hey! <laughs> Yay, we did it. I mean, that's not too bad. That wasn't even going to connect. When you get Sheen, you're a little bit more active. Did she use teleport? I don't actually know. Like, before. Okay, she didn't. Now she is. Speed bird. Uh, Speedbird380 uh, says, love your content, keep going, Huzzy. Thanks so much, dude, for the 11 months. Again, thanks always, everybody, for the incredible support, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. Mucho appreciate. I was a little bit bummed out actually this weekend and I'm not trying to diss on other platforms but one of my favourite streamers that I watched recently signed with Facebook. Yeah, I ain't watching stuff on Facebook. I don't blame content creators for doing it by the way because I have heard in the book like obviously I get to like I know little details and like the amount of money that they offer is crazy and you'd be an idiot to turn it down because it's guaranteed income as a content creator but yeah like I don't know. I don't think many of us are a big fan of Facebook as a company, so... Um, we're starting to unfortunately have the Kale effect where she's getting stronger. And it's kind of hard to stop. 
Hopefully we'll be okay. I'm going to play some Valorant soon, or did I decide to not play anymore? I... Uh, basically what happened was I got massively into Call of Duty Warzone. Oh! First plus ultra of the week! Too much Pengu, which I appreciate. Uh, says, uh, what did he say? Uh, speedy bird goes beep beep. Hmm. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Someone said, do I edit all by myself? Everything you see on my channels is me. I do everything myself. Which isn't the easiest thing to do. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, Warzone, yeah. I started playing a lot of Warzone. And, um... It was really hard to play Valorant and Warzone. Because it's like a different type of shooter game. And it's just hard to be good at both. And I'm quite a competitive person. And if I'm not doing very good, I get frustrated. Um... So I was like, it's just too hard to actively play both of them, you know? No, no, no. Oh, godly. Oh, stop. Hit a Q, dude. Oh, for God's sake. He actually, I think he tried to give it to me then, but it's fine. Okay, we played that quite well, me and Lisa. Well, he, if he hit a Q earlier, we would have absolutely wiped up then. But he missed a couple easy Qs, I think. But it's fine. Again, can't expect perfection play from teammates. And Mumu did ult us. It just didn't really do anything because it's a Mumu. Nice. Wait, what are you doing? Why have you got lethality, Kale? Am I missing something? Why does she have lethality? Sanguine Blade. Hmm. Is that a thing? Oh, okay. I, that sounds a bit weird. I doubt it's stronger than like the actual Kale build, but anyway. I got him. Oh my god, Zerath did no damage. I don't know if the Zerath is very good. Well, obviously, yeah, naturally Sanguine's a 1v1 item, so she's building it to, like, properly 1v1 me, I guess. But the mistake that she's making is I don't really care about 1v1s, to be honest. Also, oh, she's really squishy. Pistols and blades. Dawn magic. I'll take back what's mine. Hmm, she is gone. I don't know if I can actually do anything here. Oh, this is Aerith. He is not doing great. <clears throat> trying to get her to come on me here.
We just need to control mid lane better, I think. Am I going to play the new League RPG on stream? Yeah. I'm going to play it on stream and upload it on the YouTube channel as well. She hit him. Oh, the Zerath is dead again. And he's lost tier 2 tower. God, the Zerath's bad. That's not even a terrible matchup as well. Because the Zerath is being completely outclassed. Just do the dragon, Lee. Oh, he hit it. I just don't think he's got the damage. Yeah, that was way too greedy. Am I doing... Which build am I doing? Am I doing the Essence Reaver build next? I guess. Yeah, that was a Lee Sin moment. My man's telling me... What is it? No, but my body... My body's telling me... Yeah, yeah. I'll hack my way back to Bilgewater. They're probably doing Dragon, I would presume. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I was like, hello? What's your attack? Eh? Eh? Alright. The scale build seems, um, again, I'm gonna, I don't want it to bite me in the butt. Because, you know, but it seems pretty bad. I nearly got it. That would have been really good if I got that. Damn. Mm. Can I carry this game? <laughs> hey, butter, hey, butter, hey, butter, hey, butter, swing. Um, we'll try and carry this game, obviously, but I'm still a little bit worried about getting outscaled. They have a Kale and an, a, a uh, Vyga. Those are two very good scaling champions. Regardless of Kale's kind of weird build, she's going to be strong later. It's kind of inevitable. She's like Thanos. Does Kale outscale GP? In a 1v1, yeah. In team fights, no. Again, this Mumu doesn't seem great either, to be honest. Oh, there's just too much death happening with our carries. They just dying too much. Where did she go?
Oh, yeah, she got the Rift Herald though. Try to get it. Try to get it. Okay. To be fair, with not being playing Gangplank actively, eh, my Gangplank's doing okay. And I, I, I think Gangplank as a champion, you get rewarded for playing the champion actively, and I haven't been playing the champion actively, so... I think we're doing pretty good. Would I play in mid? I've actually never been a fan of Gangplank mid. Infinity Edge next, by the way. And then after that, if the game is long enough, then we go Leondre. Never trust a build right. Stop the Baron, why not? Did Kale even get ultimate off then? I don't think so, right? load up on as much strength as I can before the next fight. So grab that BF sword. You can do a 10 barrel combo in Earth. <laughs> nice. My vengeance will be blood He actually misplayed that, but it doesn't really matter. damage on Kale. Morgana? She AFK? Wait, we legit have an AFK player. Why do we always have AFK players in Season 10? What has happened in Season 10? This is ridiculous. Morgana, dude. Shut down. I don't understand why people are AFK all the time. We were winning that fight and then Morgana's like, I'm gonna go AFK. Like, literally. Happens every single game. So annoying. Really annoying. Words mean nothing. Flesh carries weight. Mm. 
Didn't even get that cannon then. Like, 10 death Viger is like, ugh, this, it's 0 5 Kale, and we're kind of like losing this game. Ugh, ah, really annoying. There's a, well, there's a massive bot lane difference, especially if Morgana's AFK. <sighs> Level 16 will be pretty big for me. Is Gangplank considered a hyper carry? Mm, I'm not sure I would consider him a hyper carry. He's like, she's AFK again! Oh my god. Again, just not destined to. Oh. We're just not destined to win, everybody. Th th this is beat. Again, I. I can't hide the, the, my frustration. This is literally season 10 for me. This has been my experience. It's just poop. Like, what can you do? Oh, she's back again. Probably for like a minute. So frustrating. they're doing oh well again i'm gonna upload it because we've played really well again there's just sod all i can do hopefully season 11 is better oh, i pressed the wrong button Again, she's like, why are you spam pinging someone? You're AFK. Like, she keeps going AFK. Like, why is she spam pinging? This is why we need the new, like, ban system and detection system for AFKs and stuff. You know the funny thing in that video, by the way? That video did quite well. The comment section, obviously, YouTube comment section has, like, auto filter toxic comments. That had so many filtered comments. Of people basically being angry that Riot's implementing a better toxic detection system. And guess what? It's all the toxic people. I was like, that's hilarious. I had a flash. This Morgana. Too big of a difference in mid and bot lane. Unfortunately. And with also the Morgana being AFK at a really bad time. I got the kill with a triple barrel combo. That was nice. If you guys didn't see that, rewind it and I got a triple barrel combo off just before. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I can't win that game. I can't win that game. Even though we did really well. It happens. That's the, the unfortunate thing of solo queue. Again, the, the Lee Sim played well. Me and him played really well. But the, the Zerath was losing. Again, the, the Zerath was losing the 1v1 to Viger, And our bot lane was losing the 2v2. So, 
We went 915, 207 farm, minus 11, and then damage done, dealing the most damage on my team. But yeah, you can clearly see how we lost this game. The Kale was a non factor this game, but then Jin and Viga are here. Uh, there's just no comparison. Like, Caitlyn got nearly tripled in damage. Nearly. Like, if Jin did a couple more thousand damage, she would have been tripled. And uh, yeah, the Viga does 8,000 more damage as well, but. Uh, I don't know. I played really well. I'm happy about it. Gangplank felt okay, but we were against a Kale who I I I, I know some people might go, oh, Huz, it's good. I think that Kale build is terrible. Um, so I, I kind of had a free lane. And Lisa did come top lane a bit, which was nice. But yeah, if you guys enjoy, and we had an AFKing Morgana this, this game too. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed, still throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. And by the way, if you're wondering, you know, where's the main account has this, this is the type of game why I'm not going on the main account. I've got to care about my own mental. And I'm just, if I'm honest, I have completely switched off season 10 and I'm just having fun. Pre-season I'll be taking more serious. And then season 11, I'll be taking more serious. But season 10 has just sucked like completely. But uh, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.